Hey everybody, uh, if you can't see, this is my new bike because the Jixer got stolen. I did a video and then I think the next night, like, that was like a couple nights later and I was just too tired, left it outside my apartment because it was a Thursday night and I didn't work out that night. Uh, anyways, left it outside my apartment, accidentally woke up the next morning, gone. So... Uh, I had my girlfriend's car for a week. I fucking hated having a cage again. Uh, so, waited a week and I was like, fuck it, I can't live without a bike right now. I need to have, like, one, low gas, or high gas mileage, and low fill-ups. So, here we are. Something doesn't sound right. Anyways, uh, so, and I was sitting, uh, I told the dealer up in Fayetteville, because that's where my girlfriend lives, and I was like, hey, I want to come look at if you have a Ducati Monster Dark 821. They didn't, uh, but they are like, are you settled on the dark? Alright, so, uh, I'll fast forward a little bit. Uh, the bike, I was looking at so many different bikes and then I finally was like, you know what, I like the SEO 9 I've always liked it, uh, although, you know, it has some bad reviews with the suspension and its quirkiness, but I love quirky bikes. Uh, I love the SV, and those were dependable, but still quirky. Uh, this one is definitely no different. So, um, I ended up buying this bike on the go-ahead that my other bike would not be found. And if it's found, well, fuck me, I won't have <laughs> much of a life because I'll be paying, uh, technically three bike notes because it'd be this one, the Jixer, and the, uh, And the bike, or my, I bought a girl, my girlfriend a scooter too, on the same loan as uh, this one. Uh, I didn't get raped with interest or anything like that. Uh, I got decent prices. Uh, they, you know, being military and whatnot, they took some off here and there. And uh, I mean, I gotta say, so far, putting 310 miles on this bike, I love it. Other than whatever that little noise is that I keep hearing. It doesn't sound familiar, but most of the time I have the face shield down, so little things I can't hear sometimes, so it could be normal operation. I don't feel any de de degradation in power, uh, so I don't know. Just my mind playing tricks on me, I guess. We all know how that works. So, I mean, everything's been great. I'm sorry I haven't been doing videos. Just have been completely uh, swamped with life. And the way it has been treating me. But, I mean, I like the new bike a lot. I missed having a standard. Or, you know, an upright standard, naked, street fighter, whatever the fuck you want to call this thing. Uh, I'll call it a street fighter just for the sake of it possibly being a street fighter uh, it is so much fun throughout every little part of the, the power band it's got plenty of power anytime I twist the throttle especially like if you see it's in stud mode right now get it <laughs> SC uh, anyways uh, So, uh, I mean, I was in sixth gear and just rolled on it. It was plenty of acceleration. Uh, but A mode is so much fun. There's like all the power, all the torque, 
right there available. Standard, it's like, it's not as tuned as the A mode. Uh, you still get a lot of fun with it. The B mode obviously is like your rain mode or uh, I should have bought an FZ07, but I wanted an FZ09, so I'm gonna put it in B mode. And I honestly don't know who would put it in B mode uh, unless you were like worried about, you know, uh, rain and whatnot, you know, wet, wet, uh, wet conditions. Uh, but man, it, it was a hard decision. It was this or the scrambler or, um, or another monster. I mean, I, I loved my monster, but it was just having another monster. I mean, if the only good thing about having the monster was that it was an 18,000 mile, uh, valve check. That's how long it took for you to go through a valve check was 18,000 miles. That was such a selling point, but I just, it, it was too much that I really wanted to spend, especially to get my girlfriend a scooter. And I didn't have to, I just wanted to. And she, you know, she rode around the parking lot at our apartment and she was absolutely so giddy, it wasn't even funny. But I was having so much fun, I was having a blast riding it. Now I see why everybody likes Groms. And this was just a 56, uh, 50 cc uh, Yamaha Vino. I mean, it was still like so much fun just to just truck along and do 35 and then on a downhill do 40. Like I was so happy when I hit 40 because I almost pegged out the, sp the Speedo. Uh, talk about a lot of fun. Uh, so, guys, I, I mean, I'll do a, I'll do a good, re uh, not review, um, first reveal of this bike so you can see it in some light and hear it more than what you can hear now uh, but this bike is a lot of fun Yamaha did a lot of good things with this bike they were talking about the scrambler being fun and I guess the only reason the scrambler could be fun is because you could have some off-road with it this one you could take off-road if you just put the right tires on it I mean it's got such a short wheelbase a uh, lot of low-end torque and power you just you could have so much fun with it and I loved my Jixxer 750 but now I see why a lot of people want those bikes because they're just good riding bikes you can do about anything you want with them that was illegal and uh, uh, but man I don't really hear that, but it's so, I mean, it's so light and nimble when you're on the street, man, I, I like, I love the way that Yamaha did this bike, and I've always been a, fr a fan of them, especially the year that they came out with them in 13, like, I was like, man, I would love that bike, I should have waited on my monster, blah, blah, blah. You know the us the usual stuff but I really think that the monster set me up for a lot of stuff like that 703 or that 803 motor was was such a good motor to me and I saw I was so happy like I didn't realize that they even reused the monster 796 and they just called it the s2r or something like that s4r I, I mean they just reused the bike and just gave it a different name it's still the 796, the same fucking exhaust system, everything. And they just gave it a different color scheme and called it something different. Oh, another yellow light to run through. That was a red light. Oh well, fuck it. I'm not running this one though. Oh, it feels great in Columbia, South Carolina. I don't know if y'all have ever been here or not, but it is, right now it's beautiful. It's not too hot in the day. Hmm. Yeah, it's not something in the motor, it's something else. I think I didn't put the seat down uh, right whenever I was, uh,
that was that car man I was like tripping out I was hearing so much noise I don't know if y'all could hear that but that shit was trippy So, uh, I'm going to cut this one short. I'm almost at my house anyway. So, uh, man, y'all stay safe out there. Uh, ride safe, be safe. Always keep your head up and on a swivel. But I'm going to cut it here because I'm about to check some mail. And do fun stuff. So, uh... I'll let you kids later, right?